I'm James from Jack Charles and today we're on the outskirts of Tunbridge in a beautiful village called Shibbon and the property Stanley Lodge which is behind me is set about half a mile off the main country lane um, that it's situated on. Now the property has been converted about six years ago into a gorgeous barn with weatherboarding. It's also got some wonderful features including a detached um, open car barn, ample parking as well as a lovely garden that we'll show you shortly. Now the gardens here are absolutely stunning. They're situated behind the open car barn, which we'll show you in a minute. But what makes them so gorgeous is actually they're adjacent to farmland. Now they're principally lawned, they're enclosed by laurel hedging, but the setting of the garden is gorgeous. It offers a good degree of privacy. And it's so nice to be able to sit out here and enjoy the days and certainly the summer evenings. Stanley Lodge has, as I said before, its own driveway. It's serviced via an electric wooden five bar gate. And you've got ample parking for several cars. It also leads to an extremely useful open car barn, which has its EV charging point at the very rear. It's also got very valuable storage outside, which could in effect be your external garden shed. There's ample storage and it goes all the way down one side into the eave, so ideal for your lawn mowers, gardening equipment, or such like. Now, Stanley Lodge can be accessed by two entrances. This, I would think, would be the principal entrance into a small lobby and then the kitchen beyond. You also have the side entrance door, which then leads to another small lobby and uh, a reception hall, which we'll show you shortly. Now you enter through this side door where you have a small lobby and then you come into this gorgeous open reception room which has a lovely double aspect. You've got little steps leading up through into the kitchen area as well as stairs to the first floor. You've got down lighters but the double aspect gives it plenty of natural light and I love the bifolding doors that lead out to the rear. They're absolutely gorgeous and you've got a beautiful aspect over the fields as well. It's really nice room, very nice room. Let's go and have a look at the kitchen. Well, the kitchen is also a lovely room with a double aspect. It has a gorgeous vaulted ceiling with a V-Lux window. It's got a beautiful kitchen, well proportioned as well. Um, it has granite worktops, got a five ring gas hob and integrated appliances. There's access uh, to the main front entrance. Um, which gives access to the uh, gravel parking area, but there is plenty of space for table chairs and it's got an open doorway leading through to an inner hall that leads to a very, very useful utility room. There's built-in storage here and then you've got a utility room with space uh, and plumbing for a, a washing machine as well as matching units and then an inner hallway that gives access to two bedrooms and the family bathroom. Bedroom two, which is actually bedroom three because there's one upstairs, has a really cool feature which we'll show you shortly. So come with me and we'll have a look at the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom here also has a beautiful vaulted ceiling, has a window to the front and two Velux windows. It's a generous size and it gives access through to this lovely ensuite shower room which provides a double shower cubicle, a wash hand basin and a WC. I said bedroom three had a cool feature, and it does. It has a lovely mezzanine storage area, which gives access to a further attic space. Um, it's a really cool room. You can fold away the ladder quite simply, and then it becomes a nice double bedroom, or could even double up nicely as a study. But it's a wonderful room, plenty of natural light with the window here to the front. Now the bedroom to the first floor is a really, really generous size. It has a lovely aspect to the side overlooking the farmland. Beyond, it's got a V-Lux window allowing plenty of natural light and ample storage in the eaves. Also has its own ensuite. 